In uh, December of uh, 2009, I first met Donna. She was a very healthy, vigorous, athletic, no uh, predisposing factors for cancer. Uh, family history was negative. Uh, from everything I could see, there was no obvious explanation for this young woman to have uh, a breast cancer, particularly a multifocal breast cancer. And the only possible association I could identify was that she had a habit of always carrying her cell phone under her right brassiere strap. Breast cancers are characteristically diagnosed in women in their 50s and 60s. The Asian population have a lower incidence overall. Due to Donna's young age, lack of uh, risk factors, multifocal disease, uh, Asian history, uh, normal medical history with no predisposing factors, uh, I would say that she would be an unusual case. I don't have any history of breast cancer in my family. And I also had the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genetic tests conducted on me and it came up negative. So I don't have the genetic mutations for breast cancer. And with each following doctor appointment, it seemed like as if they kept finding another tumor and another tumor. We connected the dots of where the locations of the tumors were based off the biopsy. We made marks on me of where the location of the tumors were and realized that it formed the shape of the cell phone underneath the footprint of the phone where, by, where I used to keep it. When they did the, the imaging, the MRI and the mammogram, the ultrasound, we saw this unusual distribution of these little bitty tumors that were pretty much in the same general distribution of the rectangular cell phone. And, uh, when we finally did do our mastectomy, we saw this very unusual uh, uh, pattern where these multiple small cancers were confined to the upper inner aspect of, of the breast. And so I, I've never seen anything quite like this. And of course, there's no proof that it causes cancer. But again, the manufacturer said, don't keep it in contact with your skin. And we have this anecdotal information that makes me very nervous. And if I had a daughter, believe me, uh, I would counsel her against doing this. And we've really promoted the concept. If there is even a small possibility that the thermal or piezoelectric effect or other pulse electromagnetic field influences could even remotely influence the behavior, biology, and possible carcinogenicity uh, in this setting, I would urge people to avoid exposure.